Hello everyone, this is Russ here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at Dogos. This is developed by OPQAM and published by Internet URL. It's going to be available on the Xbox Store on the 7th of September 2016. The price is still to be confirmed but it will be in the description below as always as soon as it's available. Right, so in Dogos, um, it's a top-down shooter, uh, twin stick style, a uh, bit of free roaming action as well so it's not all linear uh, scrolling screens, you can move the ship around yourself. Um, we're going to jump into it now anyway and take a look. Right, so as you can see I've just uh, hit continue game there. These are the levels um, available in the game so you can go back and replay them should you wish to. Um, each level also has three challenges to complete so as you can see we've done all three on the first level there. Um, so that is that. We're going to jump into first level anyway. At uh, this screen you can choose your weapons and stuff so you've got weapons that you can unlock as you play through the game. So there's four air weapons, um, the blaster, the plasma, the eraser and the spitfire. We've also got different ground weapons, uh, three of those, so you've got rockets, sniper and cluster bombs. Let's put those back to what they were. Um, there's also two ships when you first start the game, um, so it's up to you which one you want to choose. They've both got different speeds and different health attributes and all that sort of stuff. Um, and when you're playing the game you can unlock different skins for your ship, so there are those there, six of those in uh, total. So yeah, let's jump into it. Right, so the first level is just tutorial. Um, we've got a load of little pop-ups on the screen. And this first section is just about steering the ship with the right stick. Um, you don't have to do anything else until you can take full control of it. Bring me down. At least not yet. There's an abandoned base somewhere near. Maybe I can establish a camp there and repair my ship. Okay, so we've now got full control of the ship. Mayday, mayday. If anybody can hear me, I need aerial support. Hurry, I'm surrounded. Hang in there. I got your position. I'm on my way. Okay, so that turns about the radar, bottom left of the screen, objects, enemies, blah blah blah, press the Xbox to show the map, um, which is like so. So the little green triangle is us, and X is our objective, so let's get going for that. Now, right triggers fire, now this is the secondary weapon that I unlocked, so when you first saw it, it's just a single blast um, coming out the front of the ship. those of you that played a game called Project Root, made by the same people, so if you did play that you'll know what to expect from this. Feels really nice and smooth to play as well, I uh, will say that. No, it's supposedly running at 60 frames a second, 1080p. That's what I think. I've noticed so far the little dialogue between the characters is a little quiet compared to the music and I've not been able to find any options anywhere to to alter that yet.
this should be the end of the level. It's got to uh, hang around with this thing. There we go. Personal journal, Desmond Phoenix, 2129. Another massacre by the Zetniks. They surprised us once again. I feel like we're only surviving to escape from these attacks. It seems like they enjoy leaving someone alive just to go out and hunt them later. The attacks are always violent, except for this time it was devastating. The base has been completely destroyed. Too many pilots have fallen. At least I managed to save one of the airships. I need a shower. It's three in the morning, and looks like I'm not the only one who can't sleep. Europa is fixing the weapons system on the ship. We haven't spoken yet. I guess we're both in shock. We almost didn't make it out alive. She seems like a good girl. I should talk to her. As you see there as well, you get a bit of a story between each level, which is nice to see. Um, so, it's all that there. So yeah, we've done the uh, challenges as you can see there. They're from a previous pay that I did. So they do sort of stack up. Um, you don't have to do a morning one go sort of thing. You can go back and do one if you've not uh, done it. So yeah, we're going to jump into the next level and take a look at that one now. Journal, Desmond Phoenix, 25, 29. Europa has been calibrating the ship's engine and has succeeded in repairing the short-range radar. We talked a bit, and she thanked me for providing aero support while we escaped the attack zone. There's something about her that reminds me of Tess. I miss her every day. Her mother, too. It's really hard without them. I've been following the movement of the Zetnik troops for a few days, and I've figured out that a lot of them are moving towards the outside of a nearby volcano. Seeing the Zetniks move in such an organized way gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what they're up to. Europa should have finished installing the new weapon systems on the ship by now. Desmond, I made some improvements in the ship's weapon system. They're ready for you to try. Head to the entrance of the cave, but be careful. The radar is showing a lot of activity. Right, so we've now got a special fire function pressing the left bumper. So we'll give that a go in a second. Let's go over this way. Cool. Oh, let's just bring the map up. So we've got a big area to fly, and we've got to get from this end straight up to the other end. Uh, but I know one of the challenges is finding certain ship and destroying it so I might do that first so you can get that one done
Okay, so this way is up the exit. Okay, so we've uh, completed the mission in four minutes. We've done eliminate 15 grand enemies uh, and find and eliminate the elite attack unit. So we didn't find that. That's what I was looking for, the elite attack unit. Um, so I suppose I'll be going back to look at that in a little bit. So yeah, we're going to leave that there for today anyway. This has been Dogos, um, as we said earlier on, out on the 7th of September on the Xbox Store. Check it out if you're interested. I hope this video has given you a nice little insight into the game and what it's like and how it plays. And if it has, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to stick a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.